I want to quickly review the process that, that you have to go through when charging a lithium battery. Lithium batteries can be potentially quite dangerous if they're not if they're not handled properly. So you will always want to make sure that you use a battery charger chip that's designed uh, for a lithium battery, because there are different phases that you have to go through when charging a lithium battery. You can't just, like I said, supply a power supply and a, and a resistor. In fact, there are some parts of the, the, the charging phase where there's a current and then where the current is being controlled. So we've been looking at uh, situations where you're controlling the output voltage for the voltage regulator. But for when charging a battery, there's a part of the phase of the charging phase where you're, you're regulating the, the voltage going to the battery. And then there's part of the phase where you're regulating the current going into the battery charging. So that is all represented from this plot here. So we start off in what's called the preconditioning phase. So this is assuming, so this line here, this line right here that I'm tracing, that's the current going into the battery. That's the, or I'm sorry, that's the voltage, the battery, the, the voltage going to the battery is this line here. The solid line, this one is the current going into the battery. So what happens in this preconditioning phase, this is the case when you have a, a fully, like a highly discharged battery. So the battery is like really heavily discharged. You can't just start with heavily discharged lithium battery. You can't just start charging with a fast charge. You have to do what's called a preconditioning charge or a trickle charge is what you'll also hear for this term. And it's basically where you're just trickling a very small amount of current into the battery to not necessarily warm it up. It's not a temperature thing, but you're pre-charging the battery and getting it to the point that it, it can be hand, it can be capable of handling the, the full fast charge current. So that's what this phase is, is doing here is it's, and you can see this line here, this is the, the pre-charge current that for most chargers, you can, you could set this with an external resistor, or if it's a more advanced one that has some type of serial interface, this can be programmed. But this line, this is showing the pre-charge current, and you can see the battery voltage during this pre-charge current is slowly increasing. And then once it, it the, the battery voltage reaches a certain threshold here, then it switches into, uh, it, it switches out of the preconditioning so that the battery is preconditioned, it's ready for full charging. And that's what this current regulation phase here is. This is where you have the, the full charge. This is this straight line here. You can see this is, we've reached the this region here where at maximum charge current. So this is where the battery's in like fast charge. But between this preconditioning phase and the, the current regulation phase, there's another phase called a thermal regulation phase. And this really only applies to linear regulators or linear chargers and not switching chargers. Because as we've talked about for the regulators, a linear regulator or linear charger can dissipate potentially a lot of heat. So what happens is the worst case for this, for a linear charger, as we've covered in quite in detail, is when you've got a, a high current and you have a, a large difference between the input voltage and the output voltage. So what happens, this happens to be right here, this stage here is the worst case app scenario for as far as power dissipation for a linear charger because the battery's at the lowest voltage right now because you've just charged it up just enough to get it out of this preconditioning phase. So the battery voltage is low. So that means that's the output of the regulator is essentially the battery voltage. So that means you're going to have a larger difference across between V in minus V out or B, V in minus V bat because the battery voltage is at the lowest. So it increases that differential between the input voltage and the output voltage. And then that causes um, the linear charger to dissipate a lot of heat. So what this is doing, this is actually regulating it based on thermal regulation. So it, it, it has, this charger has a circuit in it that will regulate a charge current that is just enough charge current that it keeps the die so it doesn't get too hot. So roughly around, I think this one is 105 degrees C 
uh, so they can operate up to 125 degrees C, but this one is set so that it, it tries to, it, it will increase the current up to a maximum amount so that the die doesn't exceed the 105 uh, degrees C. So that's what's happening in this region here. Your, you can see the battery voltage is increasing as we charge, but also the current is also increasing as the battery voltage increases because as the battery voltage increases, the differential between input and output decreases. So that means the linear charger can output more current because you've got the V in minus V out is, is reducing. So that's what's going on in this stage here. It's basically just charging as fast as it can without overheating the regulator or the charger. And this isn't an issue with the switching charger because as we know, they don't really dissipate. They're, they're not perfect. They don't have a 100% efficiency, but the efficiency is typically in the 80 to 90% range versus for you know applications for a linear regulator, it may be only 50% efficiency. So once we, we exit this thermal regulation phase, now we're to a point where the, the battery voltage is high enough that the difference between input and output is not so high. So the linear regulator can now finish charging at the maximum current, which is here. So what happens is it, it keeps charging at the maximum current. And then once the battery voltage reaches a, another threshold here, then it switches into the charge termination phase. So here, now we're regulating the voltage. So now our, our charger is acting in a voltage regulation mode. So it's, it's regulating the voltage here. This will typically be about 4.2 volts for a, a, a lithium battery. So a lithium battery normally is 3.7 when you're using it fully charged. But when you're doing this voltage regulation phase, the charge termination is really here. This is the actual just voltage regulation, which leads into the charge termination here once the, the current drops enough. So here we're at 4.2, the battery's charging with the fixed voltage across it. And then as it keeps charging, this final amount of charge, the, the current going into the battery just keeps going down and down because the battery's being charged. And once the battery, the current going into the battery with the voltage regulation mode gets low enough, then that's when the charger is able to detect that the battery is fully charged and it terminates the, the charge. So that's the full process. You always have preconditioning, current regulation, and voltage regulation phase for any type, any type of lithium battery charger. And then if it's a linear charger, you'll likely also have this thermal regulation phase. You may not ever hit this phase if, if you just, if you're operating it with an input supply that's just really close to the battery voltage, let's say. So the maximum this has to output is 4.2. Let's say you're at 4.7. So you're just half a volt above it. Then you're, in that case, you may not ever hit this thermal regulation phase, and it may just be able to go directly from preconditioning to the current regulation phase. Okay, so that's an overview of the stages and the process of charging a lithium battery. Now we'll look at the different types of chargers, the linear, the buck, and the boost.